Good morning everyone. In the previous class we had discussed about the current electricity problems. Now we will discuss about the loss of motion chapter problems. In that first problem, calculate the acceleration produced when efforts of 175 newtons acts on a body of mass 250 kg. Calculate the acceleration produced when a force of 175 newtons acts on a body of mass 250 kg. First, the given data the force acts on the body is 175 newtons force is equals to 175 newtons and the body of mass 250 kg so mass of the body is 250 kg so calculate the acceleration so acceleration a is equals to how much we know that the formula in terms of force, mass of the body and acceleration. So, F is equals to MA. From this, acceleration A is equals to force upon M, mass of the body. Okay. And substitute the force and mass values. So, the force is equals to 175 newtons. 175 newtons and the mass of the body is 250 kg. Now cancel these two three times 35 this is 50 and again 7 10. Acceleration is equals to 7 upon 10. So that is equals to 0 0.7 meter per second square. So acceleration is equals to 0 0.7. The units of the acceleration is meter per second square. Second problem, calculate the momentum of a field gun momentum of a Field gun of mass four fifty cages when it recoil with velocity of Zero point three meter per second after firing a shell from it. So calculate the momentum of a field gun of mass for fifty kg when it recoils with a 
velocity of 0.3 meter per second after firing the shell from it. First of all, given data, given the mass of the body, m is equals to 450 kgs. Okay, and the velocity v is equals to 0 0.3 meter per second. Momentum is equals to how much? Okay, so we know the momentum formula. Momentum is equals to mass of the body into velocity. So that is equals to mass of the body is 450 kgs into and the velocity of the body is 0 0.3 meter per second so that is equals to 135 kh meter per second so this is the momentum of the body here Third one, a car of mass 1000 kg moving with a velocity, a car of mass 1000 kg moving with a velocity. of 40 km per hour okay collides with a tree and comes to stop in 5 seconds what will be What will be the force excreted by car on the tree? So a car of mass 1000 kg moving with a velocity of 40 km per hour collides with a tree and comes to stop in 5 seconds what will be the force excited by the car on the tree so what is the given data given so the mass of the car so m is equals to 1000 kg ok and moving with the velocity 40 km per hour collides before colliding 40 km per hour that means the initial velocity of the body initial velocity of the car is 40 km so initial velocity denoted with v u is equals to 40 km per hour so convert this 40 km hours into meter per second so 1 kilometer is equals to 1000 meters upon and 1 hour is equals to 60 minutes. Okay. And convert this minutes into seconds. 1 minute is equals to 60 seconds. Five, three. Okay, 40 into 5 upon 18. Okay, and again 20 and this is 9. 25 is 100 upon 9 meter per second. Okay, here the 40 kilometers per hour can be converted into meter per second 
so one kilometer is equals to thousand meters and one hour is equals to sixty seconds sorry sixty minutes and one minute is equals to sixty seconds and next and the time the final velocity v the car will be stopped that is equals to zero and the time taken t is equals to five seconds so what will be the force f is equals to how much okay and we know that the formula the force is equals to mass into acceleration so acceleration means change in velocity that is initial velocity sorry final velocity minus initial velocity upon time so that is equals to mass so acceleration formula change in velocity that is final velocity minus initial velocity upon time okay and that is equal here the mass of the body is 1000 and the final velocity v is equals to 0 and initial velocity for that means 100 100 upon 9 meter per second and the time taken is 5 seconds okay and that is equals to Two hundred, two hundred into minus hundred upon nine. So that is equals to minus twenty thousand upon nine. So that is equals to minus two two newtons. The force acting on the body is negative force. That is equals to. 2222 and the next problem fourth one so what is the acceleration produced by a force of 5 newtons? What is the acceleration produced by a force of 5 newtons? extended on an object of mass 10 kgs. So, what is the acceleration produced by a force of 5 newtons extended on the object of mass 10 kgs. So, given Force F is equals to 5 newtons and the mass of the body is equals to 10 kgs and acceleration is equals to how much? So we know that the force acting on the body is mass into acceleration. So acceleration is equals to force upon M that is equals to force is 5 newtons and the mass of the body is 10 to 0. Point Five meter per second square. And the next one, how long should a force of hundred newtons? How long should should a force force of hundred newtons? acts on a body of 20 kgs so that it acquire a velocity of 100 meter per second 
so how long should a force of 100 newtons acts on a body of 20 kg so that it acquires a velocity of 100 meter per second so given what is the given data here the force f is equals to 100 newtons and the mass of the body m is equals to 20 sorry 20 kg okay and velocity that is change in velocity acceleration v minus u is equals to 100 meter per second so how long how much we are we have to calculate the time taken okay so we know again we know that the formula the force is equals to m into a so acceleration is equals to m into v minus u upon t okay so force is equals to 100 newtons and that is equals to mass of the body is 20 and the time change in velocity is 100 meter per second time is equals to how much that is equals to here this 100 this 100 cancel the time taken t is equals to 20 seconds okay and next one A railway wagon of mass 2000 kg moving with a velocity 36 km per hour has a head on collision with a stationary wagon of mass 3000 kgs if the two wagons moving together moving together after collision calculate the common velocity after collision here the railway wagon of mass 2000 kg is moving with a velocity of 36 km per hour as a head on the collision with the stationary wagon of mass 3000 kg if the two wagons moving together after the collision calculate the common velocity after collision here the first body has the mass 2000 kg and the velocity of that body is 36 km per hour and the second body mass 3000 kg okay after these two bodies collision calculate the velocity so after collision we have to we will calculate the velocity of the body after collision so initially given the mass of the body 
बैगन बन फर्स्ट वन इज द टू थाउजेंड के जेस एंड द वेलासीटी वी वन इज ईक्व टू थर्टी सिक्स के जी सॉरी किलोमीटर पर अवर ओके एंड द मास ऑफ द सेकेंड बॉडी इज ईक्व टू थ्री थाउजेंड के जेस ओके and convert this 36 kilometers into meter per second 36 into 1000 upon 60 into 60 okay that is nothing but the initial velocity sorry here it is initial velocity u1 is equals to 0000 सिक्स सिक्स और थर्टी सिक्स टेन मीटर पर सेकेंड ओके एंड हियर द यू टू इज इक्व टू जीरो वाई द बॉडी इज एट कॉन्स्टेंट प्लेस देर इज नो मोमेंटम ऑफ द सेकेंड बॉडी सो द वेलासिटी ऑफ द सेकेंड बॉडी द इनिशियल वेलासिटी ऑफ द सेकेंड बॉडी इज इक्व टू जीरो and the common velocity that is v1 is equals to v2 that is equals to let it be a v now we have to calculate we will calculate this value v so by law of conservation of momentum we know that m1 u1 formula that is an m2 u2 is equals to m1 v1 plus m2 v2 From law of conservation of momentum. So, what is the value of m one here? Two thousand and u one ten. M two three thousand and u two zero. And this is equals to here. Sorry, two thousand m one into v plus Three thousand into v. So here v common up two thousand plus three thousand. Okay, here it multiply one two thousand plus zero. So v equals to v into five thousand is equals to two thousand. So v is equals to Two thousand upon five thousand. Sorry, here it is two thousand na twenty thousand. Twenty thousand. So twenty upon five. So the final velocity v is equals to four meter per second. Okay. And the next one, seventh one. If the body, sorry, if Right of a person on the surface of the earth is six hundred newtons, then his weight. On the surface the moon is surface of the moon is okay if the weight of the person on the surface of the earth is 600 newtons okay and then the weight of the so weight of the that body weight of his on The weight of 
the surface on the moon so here we know that the formula the weight of an object weight of an object on the surface of moon is equals to 1 by 6 into weight of an object on the surface of earth so that is equals to 1 by 6 into 600 100 newtons so the finally the weight of the body on the surface of the moon is equals to 100 newtons thank you